So we'll look at the resource booklet called Magic Water. Uh, Magic Water is an innovation developed by entrepreneur and engineer Beth Koigi, who's based in Kenya. She developed an innovation that harvests water from the atmosphere in especially arid areas, and then selling these in sort of affordable water ATMs um, based across uh, Kenya. The layout of these booklets is um, the same throughout all of them pretty much, where students are, uh, do a bit of research about what the innovation is, why it's so important, and they do some research on the country where the innovation is from to find out why it's important in that country, um, and then find out, reflect on the sustainable development goal that the innovation works towards. Well, I think this is a really nice one because it's something that lots of people don't have access to clean water like we do in the UK, and it's something that really does affect lots of people's lives. So one of the practicals that your students can actually investigate is looking at evaporation and then actually trying to capture some of the water from the atmosphere. So for this one here, they just need a bowl. In the bottom of the bowl, we just have a cup and then we pour some water just around this. And this is really looking at the way that water evaporates. And I suppose it's like a mini water cycle that students might have learned about in other places. Over the top of this, uh, we've got a piece of cling film. And what you can do is just put a weight into the middle and that means when the water evaporates and then it condenses again on the bottom of the cling film, it should all drip down to the middle and then into the cup down there. So again, this is the kind of thing that students might be doing in science where they're investigating which factors might affect something else. So as a continuation then from that, uh, students can do a bit more research about how Beth has been so successful with her innovation and how um, she's made uh, made it work, um, as well as doing a bit of maths problems around the business model um, of her innovation. And I think that's really important because it's not just about the engineering solution, it's about how you can keep this, this kind of model being sustainable in the future. If that's financial stability, to actually keep making these things to affect and actually help as many people as possible. So if you'd like to get your own uh, set of these resources, have a look at the STEM Resources website, where again, you can download a PDF to use with your students.